Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. So far we have discussed about Taylor series method and Picard series method to solve the given initial value problem. In this video, I would like to start another numerical method which is Euler's method. This method is also used to solve the given initial value problem. See the procedure of this Euler's method. First consider the initial value problem of the form dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y with y at x naught is equal to y naught y at x naught is equal to y naught here y value at x naught is provided as y naught suppose we have to find Suppose we have to find y value at x1 which is also represented by y1. Then the Euler's method then the Euler's method is y1 otherwise y1 of x sorry y at x1. Okay, these both are same. But the formula for y1 is equal to y0 plus h into f of x0 comma y0. Okay, this is the formula to find out y1 using Euler's method. Okay, suppose we have to find out the value of y at x2. Suppose we are going to find out y value at x2. Y value at x2 is also represented by y2. Okay, then according to Euler's method, formula for y2 becomes y1 plus h into f of x1 comma y1 okay suppose we have to find out the value of y at x3 y at x3 is also known as y3 both are same so in this case we can use y2 and x2 as initial conditions so it becomes y2 plus h into f of x2 comma y2 Suppose we have to find out the value of y at x4, which is also represented by y of 4, y suffix 4. Here you will get the formula as y3 plus h into f of x3 comma y3 and so on. Similarly, we can easily find out the y value at the point xn, which is also represented by yn. This is the general formula for Euler's method. So yn is equal to it becomes yn minus 1 plus h into f of xn comma sorry xn minus 1 f of xn minus 1 comma y suffix n minus 1 okay in these all steps h is called step size h is called step size so most probably the step size h value is provided in the given problem now I will give an example on Euler's method C. This is the statement of the given problem. Apply Euler's method to obtain the value of y when x is equal to 0 0.1. So here we have to find out the value of y at 0 0.1. Given that dy by dx is equal to y minus x over y plus x with the condition y of 0 is equal to 1. By taking the step size h is equal to 0 0.2. Here we have to take the step size as 0 0.02. Okay. See the solution. First of all, write the given initial value problem. Given initial value problem is you can represent the dy by dx with the y dash, which is equal to y minus x by y plus x, comma given condition is y of 0 is equal to 1. Take it in question number 1. Here, compare the given initial value problem with the general initial value problem, which is y dash is equal to f of x comma y, y at x naught is equal to y naught. That's why here f of x comma y is equal to y minus x. The right hand side function of the differential equation is uh, represented by f of x comma y, y plus x. And uh, the inside value is uh, x naught. This value is y naught. Y naught is equal to 1. 
okay so here given step sizes h is equal to 0 0.02 actually in this problem we have to find out the value of y at uh, x is equal to 0 0.1 so with this step h is equal to 0 0.02 the value of x1 becomes the formula for x1 is x0 plus h so what is x0 0 so 0 plus 0 0.02 is again 0 0.02 and uh, what is x2 the formula for x2 is x1 plus h okay so x1 is 0 0.02 and h is also 0 0.02 that's why it becomes 0 0.04 we have to add this value and this value now x3 is equal to x2 plus h so x2 is nothing but 0 0.04 and h is 0 0.02 that's why you will get 0 0.06 and x4 is equal to x3 plus h so 0 0.08 and finally x5 is equal to actually here we have to find y value at 0 0.1 okay so you will get x5 as x4 plus h is equal to 0 0.08 plus 0 0.02 which is 0 0.1 so you will get the y of 0 0.1 at the fifth step okay step by step we are getting the value of y 0 0.1 since h is given as step size is given as 0 0.02 0 0.1 is nothing but x5 value x5 is 0 0.1 okay see first we get the value of y at x1 only after that you will get the x value y value at x2 so at the fifth step you will get the y value at 0 0.1 okay see step 1 by Euler's method by Euler's method the formula for y1 y1 is also known as y at x1 y at x1 is equal to y1 is equal to y0 plus h into f of x0 comma y0 replace all values what is y0 value y0 is provided as 1 see here 1 plus we know that what is the step size h 0 0.02 and f of what is x0 value 0 what is y0 value y0 is a 1 so 1 plus 0 0.02 of we have to write the expression of f of 0 comma 1 see here we have f of x comma y as y minus x by y plus x from this f of 0 comma 1 is nothing but we should replace x by 0 and y value by 1 in this expression so you will get 1 minus 0 because y is 1 here by 1 plus 0 so that is equal to 1 plus 0 0.02 into 1 that's why entire value is 1.02 this is y1 value okay now text editing step 2 so according to the Euler's method you will get y2 as y1 plus h into f of x1 comma y1 here to find out the value of y2 we can use x1 and y1 as initial conditions so already we got the y1 value in the previous step which is 1.02 so replace it by 1.02 so in every step step size is similar which is 0 0.02 f of x1 what is the x1 value 0 0.02 comma what is y1 1.02 so that is equal to 1.02 plus 0 0.02 whole into open a bracket and write the expression of this functioning value okay here x is 0 0.02 and y value is 1.02 so substitute these values in this function y minus x which is nothing but 1.02 minus 0 0.02 by 1 plus sorry 1.02 plus 0 0.02 okay now by using scientific calculator we can easily get this value see 
1.02 plus bracket open 0 0.02 bracket close and uh, take this symbol 1.02 minus 0 0.02 is nothing but simply 1 and write the denominator 1.02 plus 0 0.02 is nothing but 1.04 okay close the bracket is equal to 1.0392 it is enough to write the four decimal places now this is y2 value okay step 3 so according to the Euler's theorem y3 becomes y2 plus h into f of x2 comma y2 replace all values okay y2 is nothing but just we got this value in the previous step which is 1.0392 plus always in each and every step step size is same value which is 0.02 into f of what is x2 value see here x2 value is 0.04 and y2 is again 1.0392 okay see 1.0392 plus 0 0.02 whole into we have to write this functioning value f of x comma y is nothing but y minus x by y plus x so here y is nothing but 1.0392 minus x value which is 0 0.04 by 1.0392 plus 0 0.04 1.0392 plus bracket open 0 0.02 into take this symbol 1 minus sorry 1.0392 minus 0 0.04 write the denominator which is 1.0392 plus 0 0.04 close the bracket which is 1.05771 see the step 4 step 4 is equal to y4 ok in step 4 you will get y value at x4 y value at x4 is also represented by y4 the formula for y4 according to the ELC is y3 plus h into f of x3 comma y3 replace all values what is y3 recently we got this value in previous step which is 1.0577 you can take only four decimal places it is not necessary to take the fifth decimal place plus h h value is 0 0.02 and f of x3 what is x3 here 0 0.06 0 0.06 comma y3 value y3 value is again 1.0577 this is nothing but 1.0577 plus 0.02 you can replace x value by 0 0.06 and y value by 1.0577 in this given function okay so it is nothing but y value which is 1.0577 minus 0 0.06 by 1 plus sorry 1.0577 plus 0 0.06 close the bracket by using scientific calculator you will get y4 as 1.0756 you can easily check that okay now finally we have to find out the y5 value in the step 5 okay see step 5 is equal to y5 y5 is nothing but y value at x5 what is x5? 0 0.1. We have to find out only y of 0 0.1 only. So y5 is equal to y4 plus h into f of x4 comma y4 according to the Euler's formula. So what is y4? Recently we got y4 as 1.0756 plus h value is 0 0.02 into f of x4 what is x4 0 0.08 see here comma 
what is y4 value 1.0756 that is equal to 1.0756 plus 0 0.02 whole into replace x by 0 0.08 in the given function in this given function and y value by 1.0756 so 1.0756 minus 0 0.08 whole by 1.0756 plus 0 0.08 by using scientific calculator you will get this value as 1.0928 right in the bracket approximately y5 is nothing but y value y value y5 is nothing but y value at x5 what is x5 0 0.1 so Finally, you will get y at 0 0.1 is equal to 1.0928. This is the way to solve the given initial value problem by using Euler's method. Okay. Please remember one thing. If we increase the number of steps, you will get the accurate value. For increasing the steps, you should minimize the h value. Okay. That is the important thing. In the next video, I will give another example. Thank you very much.